So hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Now you can already tell from the title and thumbnail of this video we're doing some underwater filming today and that is on the canal. What I'm going to be doing is going to multiple different areas of the canal, multiple different swims and baiting them up, fishing them a little bit maybe and seeing exactly how the swim reacts to the feed going in and exactly what the fish do down there under the water. So the sort of baits we're going to be putting down there is things like maggots, pellets, sweet corn, bread, probably the most common ones that people are using on the canal to see exactly how the fish react to your swims back home. So what I'm going to do now is position the camera in a likely looking area. I'm going to go to an urban section of the canal first and then towards the end of the session I'll go to a more rural area in the countryside and see the differences in the way they react to the bait going in and see what different species of fish we can find down there too. I've got a feeling we're going to get some really really interesting footage today. Let's crack on. So welcome to ground zero, the very first swim of the session. Now to put it into perspective, this is an area which is sort of near a supermarket, near a built up housing estate. So it's an area which gets a lot of people throwing in food, bread, kebabs, sausage rolls, etc. And uh, it'd be interesting to see exactly how the fish react to the bait in this particular area. As you can see, we've got maggots going into the swim. We've got sweet corn going into the swim. We've got micro pellets going into the swim. And we're gonna see exactly what happens and exactly how the swim builds. Now it's quite interesting to see straight away we've got fish in the swim, one of which is actually a chub, which is the one and only time throughout this entire filming session I managed to capture a chub on film and we saw him for all of about two seconds while he was eating micro pellets. Now for a good amount of time, we had lots of small silverfish in the swim, lots of small dace, absolutely ripping up the maggots off the bottom, small perch, small roach, but it didn't take long before the bigger species started to show up after roughly around about 15 minutes. Absolutely shocking just how much silt the bream suck up and spit out into the swim. Now after this and after the small bait fish had pretty much wiped out all the maggots in the swim, I decided it was time to add my favourite bait of all time on the canal into the area and that was good old white bread. Now I've mentioned it a million times on the channel before, white bread is my go to all time favourite bait on the canal. They see it day in day out especially in a swim like this which is a built up area. Lots of people feeding the ducks, they see it every single day and we just see exactly the dynamic of putting bread in this swim now. It's only a few balls, but as you can see there, we've had a bream that's entered the area. He's swimming in at distance, but he can see that white bread from a mile away. He thinks about swimming off, but he soon turns around to coming for a closer look. He nailed the bread, ignored every other piece of bait down there, just went straight for that bread, made a beeline for it. And that's why I use it as a hook bait nine times out of ten when I'm fishing float on the canal. Because as long as it didn't perch your pike, you'll catch it on bread. So I could not have asked for a better first swim to film in, but now it was time to move on. And with it being the time of year that it is, the birds have got young at the minute, and I was being pestered the whole time by a blackbird and robin, so I decided to film a few mags before we moved on to the next swim. So in swim two, I decided not to muck about. I wasn't going to withhold bread from that swim. I decided to put everything in in one go, so the maggots, the micro pellets, the sweet corn and bread all went in straight away. And straight away, the moment they saw the bait on the bottom, the first thing they went for was the bread. The thing with bream is, they always travel around as a pack and the moment that one or two of the bream had noticed that bait on the bottom, that was it. They all descended and it was carnage. They ripped up all the bottom, completely clouded it, couldn't see what was going on. In fact they'd taken, I'm pretty sure every piece of bread I'd put in there, but I was flicking it in while they were feeding and by the time they cleared up the bait and moved off, you could just see a few bits of bait left behind.
and it took a while for the silt to clear. But when it did, we could see that the roach had moved into the area. Lots and lots of small fish, probably from last year's spawn. None of these roach were probably even above an ounce. Fixated on the leftovers that the bream had left behind. But that didn't last very long. And what is interesting is, usually we associate the clearing of a swim with pike being in it. Um, but this wasn't the case this time. And just watch what happens here. Those small bait fish were obviously perfect snack size for those perch and that is why they got out of the way when the perch moved in. These fish were a relatively decent size, probably above 6 ounce and I actually decided it was probably in my best interest to try and catch one of them to spook them off to then hopefully carry on the swim and get some more species in there because the perch actually scared off absolutely everything and there was nothing left down there but perch in the area and they were mopping up the maggots that were down there. And obviously it didn't take long for me to catch one. My bait was only down there for a few minutes before one of them picked up the bait. And it was one of the bigger ones too. A lovely perch of probably about six or seven ounce. So now it was time for the final swim we planned on fishing on today. But before you do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I will be doing more videos like this in the future. And if you want to, I might do species specific underwater videos. For example, tench, bream, roach, perch, and just target those specific fish and make specific underwater videos targeting those species. I didn't even get a chance to properly set the camera up in the swim yet before a new species showed its head. Now you can see just out the corner of the shot there we've got a reed bed. This is where the camera was set up along some reeds and straight away a tench came creeping out from the reed bed and actually had a little bit of a nibble on some of the food down there. Now this was while I was setting the camera up so you're talking within a few minutes of getting to the swim which was really cool to see and gave me some great confidence for this area. What I did find really interesting is how some species, when I'm doing stuff with the camera in the water, will spook off immediately. Whereas this tench was very inquisitive and actually sat there and watched me for a little bit before very, very slowly moving off back into the reed bed hiding, probably waiting to come out later on. And probably about five minutes after the tench disappeared into the reeds, another species reared its head. Now, it actually didn't take me too long to figure out what this fish was, knowing the area and knowing the fish that are down there. But I'd like to know from you guys, do you know what that fish is? And I want you to guess before it comes into shot. As you can see him just out the corner there, obviously a very, very big fish. And what do you guys think it is? I'll give you a little bit of time to figure that out. But he did sit there for a long, long while. I'm going to have to speed this footage up uh, before he eventually slowly moved off. But not for too long because he did actually come back into the swim a little bit later on and went and sat in that reed bed. God knows how long he sat in those reeds for. He might have been in there the entire session but I didn't actually see that fish again. Now this swim was a tricky one to bait up. It was actually dominated by rudd and roach. It was eating everything on the drop. But I did manage to get some bait down there. And as with the entire length of the canal, you can't avoid bream. And they soon came in and we had one or two that sort of dive bombed into the area, grabbed a mouthful of bait, clouded the swim up before moving on. And I think that actually gave the tench a little bit of confidence to come out. 
because he did rear his head and stick it out, give us a wink, put his face right in front of the camera for a second, and he completely silted up the swim with those great big wafting pectoral fins. And after a little while after the silt had finally cleared up, the sunlight had come out and was beaming through the swim. It looked absolutely beautiful. You could see the bright red fins on the rod looking absolutely pristine under the water. And more bream had decided to turn up and gave us a lovely couple of shots of them munching on the baits on the bottom, probably picking up the sweet corn and pellets out of the silt. So that's where our video was going to end, but I have been out filming recently, sort of a few days after I'd filmed that, I was out doing a tench fishing video where I was going to include some underwater footage where I was using sort of carp style tactics for the tench on the canal and I've got some wicked footage and I'm really impatient so I'm showing you guys it now, sneak peek, this is the exact same swim we ended off in last time, the one with the tench. As with the previous session, you can see the beautiful red fins of those running that clear water. And this was a really nice angle I managed to capture. And they were mopping up the bits of bait I'd thrown in, the micro pellets, the corn. And then we finally got the shot I'd been waiting for last time. A beautiful big green canal tench moves into the shot really inquisitively, picking up the particles off the bottom, picking up the pellets and it makes for some really nice footage. I am hoping to capture some more to go towards this video. It will be a video coming up probably in a few weeks time when I'm targeting Tench, but hey ho, here's a little bit of a sneak peek for you. And I think that about marks the end of this video. So that brings us to the end of our video. I've just finished editing it. I got some fantastic footage. If you guys would like to see more stuff like this, please let me know down in the comment section below. Like I mentioned in the video, I'm thinking about maybe doing sort of a fact file sort of series um, on different species like pike, perch, tench, bream, whatever, and getting lots more underwater footage of specific species, which I think would be pretty cool for the channel. So if you liked it, don't forget to like it. If you want to subscribe to see more, and I'll catch you guys later.